My greatest triumph was at hand. The final campaign in my long war against Superman. While his powers were drained from constant battle, sending him into space to recharge from the Earth's yellow sun, I struck. But my obsession had blinded me to the real threat. To Earth's true enemy. Concentrate fire on Luthor while I call down some artillery. Deathstroke, time for you to join the party. Come on! Come on! We've got lots of murdering to do! Something. Greetings, sister. Returned. 
For years, he'd been stealing the powers of Earth's protectors, but we were too busy fighting amongst ourselves to see the danger. With you three dead, Brainiac quickly eliminated the remaining heroes. The lucky ones died fighting. Finally, I alone survived a rat in the walls of the Brainiac Construct. I have traveled through time to warn you. This is my past, but your future. And it means the end of humanity, so together, we must change it! What have you done, Luthor? Given you a fighting chance. He's lying. It's some kind of trap. Why should we trust you? Because if you don't, Earth is doomed. I've stolen Brainiac's exobites and released them into Earth's atmosphere. They hold the powers stolen from the heroes and villains of my time and will bestow them on anyone they caught. The exobites will create a new breed of superhuman to fight Brainiac's invasion. You must teach them to use their new abilities, for they must be on the front line in the coming battle, or my grim future will become your own. I only hope I am not too late, for I will not be here to see this new future. My work is not yet done. I must leave this Earth to you. Claim the Exobites and take destiny into your own hands. Earth. The center of the multiverse. It will belong to Brainiac. I do not plan an invasion, rather an assimilation. I have identified key junctions in Earth's vast nexus of knowledge. These I will capture and digitize first. Of course, some non-essential information may be captured as well. This will be sorted and purged once the digitizing is complete. Earth's resistance does not concern me. There is no intellect strong enough, or power brutal enough to resist me. Soon, this planet and all it contains will be mine. Intriguing. There is an anomaly in Earth's atmosphere. Beginning analysis. These exobites are my own technology, each one holding unknown stores of digitized power from Earth's future. My harvester ships will simply reclaim the data provided by these exobytes and seal Earth's fate. This is a new obstacle. These humans resist my assimilation. My conversion units cannot hold them. Let the humans use their powers. In the end, they too will belong to Brainiac. Worked. I'm in and you're awake and free. Whew. Okay, I'm Oracle and we are gonna get you off this ship. Look for a doorway out. They broke my hack. The ship knows you're free. Watch out! Get ready. My readings show forces gathering beyond that door.
Gather reinforcements. I will patrol towards the prisoner bay. Was an overseer. Let's get you out of their patrol range. Look for a transport tube. They crisscross the ship. Use that to keep moving. All units. The subject has left the main corridors. Search the vessel. ship is connected to Brainiac. You have to keep moving. Get ready. The ship is sending more security your way. Nexus up ahead. Get through and use the transport tube. Delivering shipment of Earth goods. All units move into position. Contain the human. Security your way. Oh. Uh-oh. These energy readings. Brainiac has a full invasion force stored on this ship. We have to destroy it. Warning. Human activity. Detected nearby. Initiating 
Contain the human. is up ahead. Destroy it, and the ship's external defense network will go down. Then the League can get in and get you out of there. the prime weapon control room. Damage to the power couplings will destabilize the ship. Do not be foolish, human. You cannot stop the conversion. You're in the Nexus. Destroy anything connecting the gun to the ship. Coupling destroyed. Yes, the gun is falling. It's smashing into Brainiac's bottle below. You will submit. This one has failed. Powering down. Superman, get ready. I'm bringing you in. Foolish human, you have doomed yourself. You will go down with this ship. Think again, Brainiac. You can't take out the both of us. We're not leaving until we shut this ship down. Permanently. The network doesn't want to let me in. Harvester ship VII 0 has been compromised. Deploy my remaining forces to The ship has been compromised. All units must evacuate. Nice work. Brainiac wasn't counting on you breaking free and disabling his ship. Now use the teleporter and get yourself back to the city. We've got work to do. Our every tactic failed. Brainiac came to Earth to destroy it. And he was winning. 
Then, a dying version of Earth's greatest villain brought us a weapon from the future, stolen from Brainiac himself. New heroes to withstand Brainiac. And new villains to exploit the madness. I will train these heroes to fight the sick chaos of the Joker and the evils that face us all. Yes, it's done. Superman will finish here. Use the teleporters to escape. Go! Congrats! Now that you're off the ship, I'm Oracle. You've just teleported into Gotham's 9th Precinct Station, one of the many Justice League safe houses we keep in Gotham and Metropolis. The safe houses are where you'll find contacts for missions, mailboxes, vendors, and the teleporter to the Justice League Watchtower. This is Batman. I understand you just destroyed a Brainiac Harvester ship. Impressive. Let's see if you can handle hero work on the ground. The Scarecrow has escaped from Arkham Asylum and is filling the East End with fear gas. Ready to face your nightmares? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Run for your lives! Welcome to a typical night in Gotham. Scarecrow's gang has overrun the East End, pumping fear gas into the atmosphere. They're using an abandoned construction site to distribute fear gas foggers to the rest of Gotham. Shut them down before they panic the entire city. Experiment 905. Roosevelt said the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. He was, of course, utterly wrong. Scarecrow's thugs are as crazy as he is, and that's saying something. The more of them you put back in Arkham Asylum, the better. The gassed areas of the East End are a living nightmare. Gotham Hazmat is overwhelmed. Help them maintain control, but be careful. The gas will make you pick up on the fears of those around you, or create your own nightmares.
Oh man, good thing you're here. Look, I sent my team in, but Scarecrow's goons are still pumping gas into the air and taking out any hazmat they see. Can you help us out? Help me, please! Experiment 910. To equate the nervousness of a first date with the sheer terror one must feel in a plane crash does a disservice to us all. It's okay, you're hallucinating. We're here to protect you. We've got to stop them! Look out! Good job smashing those foggers. Scarecrow's gas creates hallucinations from the fear centers of the brain. So strong they can cause trauma, even death. I've given Dr. Leslie Tompkins an antidote for the gas, but that's not enough to stop Scarecrow's thugs. We have to get the fear gas barrels off the street. Get to their supply depot by the chemical factory. No matter what you see, don't let the effects of the fear gas scare you off. We still got fear gas barrels all over the place out there. We sent hazmat teams to find and secure any barrels they find. If you see any, give them a hand, will you? We need to get the fear gas out of here before everybody goes crazy. Live the nightmare. Let me show you terror. You've got to focus. Don't let the fear take control. I'll get some Experiment 504. The rostral anterior cingulate cortex gives us some semblance of control over our fear. Watch it! 
I'm on your side. Give me some time to get this barrel secured. I'll go for help. Run! Run! I never should have dropped out of business school. Live the nightmare. Barrel secured. Grab it and get out. Hallucinations are getting to you. Watch my back. I need to get this barrel ready for transport. Sure, it's dark here. I can't remember the last time I saw the sun. I'm finished. Get the sphere gas to somewhere secure. We need to get this spear gas barrel out of here. Keep an eye out for me while I secure it. Breathe in your fear. Okay, take this spear gas barrel to the safe point. Look out! Watch it! I'm on your side! The hallucinations are getting to you. Try and fight it. I've got to report you. Don't forget to scream. Hallucinations get stronger the more you're exposed to the gas. Hang in there. Once we take out Scarecrow, the nightmare will end. For everyone. Dr. Tompkins has finished synthesizing my antidote. But Scarecrow's gang is assaulting the area to keep the doctors in hazmat from helping anyone. Protect the doctors, and ensure as many citizens as possible get that antidote. Great. Another costumed freak. That's just what Gotham needs. Look, pal, I've got doctors distributing antidote, hazmat teams, getting air scrubbers running, and we're up to our donut holes in scarecrow scum! So stop standing around and do something, or get lost! We've got a lot of patients to help, and Scarecrow's thugs are trying to disrupt the treatment. Ah, 
I loathe violence. Wait, I have to document this. Experiment 79. Like Ichabod fleeing the headless horseman, mediated thought is replaced with a stream of hysteria. I'm on it! Hands up and weapons down! It's not safe here. This city is not safe! Thank goodness you're here. We need help administering the antidote. You don't scare easy, and I mean Harvey Bullock, not just the fear gas. I've tracked Scarecrow's lair to the sewers beneath the East End. That woman has gone in, and she's out of calm contact. Not good. Get in there, and end Scarecrow's reign of terror. subject. No need to breathe deeply. Even the smallest whiff of the fear gas will do the trick. is filled with fear gas. Get those leaking barrels out of there and clear the air.
You'll never clear the air that way. It's hopeless. Go back. Help me. It's too late. The fear is seeping into your mind. Give up. Save me. Crumble under the weight of your own fear. Not here. That should clear out the gas in this area. Now hurry and find Batwoman before she's lost to Scarecrow's madness. More patience? Excellent! This one has already lost her grip on her senses. So let's begin your therapy, shall we? Fear is such an appetizing emotion. So many flavors, each one as delicious as the next. Allow me to serve you from above one of my favorites, Astrophobia! The fear of thunder and lightning! Don't get zapped! No, not lightning! We're indoors! How can there be lightning indoors? Ballistophobia, the fear of bullets and explosives. <laughs> this one has an extra twist. Better stay on your toes. You'll feel real. Move, move, move. This one's mine. Another one of my favorites. A petophobia. Fear of reptiles. And since we're in a Gotham sewer, who better to represent it than Killer Croc? Here's one that hits close to home. Protophobia. 
fear of betrayal. Nothing like having your closest allies stab you in the back. But since yours are so boring, I've cooked up my own versions. Enjoy! They don't want to hurt you. They won't stop me. This one's mine. But not least, uh, wait, where's my canister? No, I'm out of gas. <sighs> no matter. By now your minds are shattered. I'll take you down myself. Get no! off! only thing to fear is no longer the only thing to fear. Now, instead of a handful of heroes, there are hundreds, thousands. Do we think the Scarecrow is no longer in danger? The fools. This is my home. And with all that I've learned, and set into motion, they will soon realize the only thing to fear is me! <laughs> it's good to be home. Experiment 81. Adverse reactions to specific stimuli can eventually be removed from the subject via carefully measured exposure. Thanks to you, Scarecrow's headed back to Arkham Asylum. Let's hope he stays there this time. You've done well. I'm preparing a warm welcome for Scarecrow at Arkham. We'll be speaking soon. Batman out.
Experiment 408. The Toxoplasma gondii parasite will actually suppress the rat's fear, making it actively seek out the scent-marked areas of cats. When you need information, you need it now. Gotham now. What's the Joker's latest scheme of terror? Tune into the Gotham Gazette's live broadcast with Vicki Vale for the news that affects Gotham. This is Vicki Vale and JLA Watch. The Batman, Gotham's very own caped crusader, a vigilante who works outside the law to eradicate all crime. Now he joins Superman and Wonder Woman to lead our new heroes against Brainiac and all other threats. Reports that his vast computer database is connected to all possible data is set to be vast. What's the prescription? Whoa! Five, four, three, two, one, go. Thanks to your help, Scarecrow's back in Arkham. But now we've got a new fire to put out. Bane's back on the Venom and taking over Cape Carmine. Sound like a dream job? Brainiac is attacking. He's targeting sites to bottle and bombarding us with troops. We need your help before it gets worse. This is Oracle. You took out a Brainiac ship, so taking out his forces on the ground should be a cakewalk. He's staging his front line nearby. Head over there and kick some can. These are some mean robots. Cover me while I kill some more drives. Systems fail. Initiate. Mine is down. 
proper protocol. Brainiac must know we mean business. He's targeting my comm signals. Hang on. Whew, finally, a signal. Get ready to move. Brainiac is capturing other exobite targets, so he's definitely planning to bottle the whole place. Save those people and take them to the drop-off safe zone nearby. Lois Lane reporting for Daily Planet Live. Look up in the sky. Is it a bird, a plane, or one of the new heroes and villains battling the Brainiac threat? One thing is sure, even with the conflict between Superman and Lex Luthor, or Wonder Woman and Circe, the only enemy they all have in common is Brainiac. Stay tuned for more as the battle against this alien invader plays out. Damage sustained. Systems failing. Information switching signals just as Ooh, we've made him mad. He's targeting all of my comm frequencies. Luckily, I know a few tricks. So get to Brainiac's ground zero. With all those troops and ships, he'll start bottling any moment unless you stop him. Subduing target. Critical damage. One target is locked. Critical damage. Performance impaired. Assistance required. Damage 
damage sustained. Alert. Status critical. Subduing target. Nice aim. Those were the comma rays messing with my signal. All systems go, and Brainiac doesn't even know what hit him. Head back to the safe house for a hero's welcome. Nice job. That should buy us some time to form a counterattack against Brainiac. Bane is back in Gotham. He uses venom to fuel his immense strength and brutality. And now his gang is selling the stuff all over the East End. Venom's a short-lasting steroid, not your typical street drug. Take some samples for analysis and get that venom off the streets. Vicky Vale exclusive. Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, is a widely used symbol of Bane's followers. You're not gonna get to this stuff! Get it to the lab! Hmm. These samples are a weaker version of Bane's usual venom. A mega steroid like venom doesn't just build muscles, it can destroy your body. And it smells terrible, I might add. <coughs> this is a new sort of venom. Extremely volatile and short-lived, so Bane's thugs need a constant supply to keep up their strength. See if you can find his main distribution center, and convince Bane's main distributor to find some other means of employment. Hello. We're trying to see if we can collect the basic injectors the hoppers carry. Without that, the venom can't enter their system. How about it? Can you grab some? You'll need to persuade Bane's thugs to give up their main supplier. Take out their venom injectors. They'll talk. Vicky Vale on Playlock, the god of water. This image is used by many of Bane's more fluid fighters. This stuff's worth more than you, bro! supposed to make me invincible. This is Bane's talk now. Protect the stage! Coming in here like that. I don't know anything. I swear! I smell combat! Ow! That really hurt! What 
give. Wait. Venom is supposed to make me invincible. They don't tell me anything. Ah. You just made the last mistake in your life. The sun is shining. Wake up with our fire and ice spiced iced coffee. It's always sunny at Sundollar. We've been tracking Bane's distribution system through Gotham. They've made me as a cop, but you could get through and check out those terminals for me. What do you say? Supposed to make me invincible. Must be crazy coming in here like that.
Give me Venom too! Looks like you could use some help. I'm gonna break you, chump. Just like Bay broke the bat. Lucky punk, that's all. Vicky Vale exclusive. Bane's recruiters often bear the image of Kamakshli, god of the hunt. I thought one Bane was bad, but with Venom on the street, everyone thinks they're a backbreaker. Good to know you're out there taking care of it. Bane kicked the Venom once, but he's back on again. And the last time he was using, he broke Batman's back. So for me and Nightwing, this is personal. We're not losing anyone to Bane ever again. Even with their distribution hub down, Venom is still out on the street. Destroy it. When Bane's hopped up thugs object, take them out and detach their Venom injectors for their own good. The Falcone Crime Syndicate has ruined this neighborhood. These Bane thugs are an improvement, you ask me. There's some Falcone hoods just south of here. Show them we've got a hero on our side, will you? Ah, fine. I don't need any help. What are you... No! Get off of me! Don't take away the oh, venom! No! Ah, no. Don't, don't take it. away the venom! I need it! The venom is mine! What are you... Get off of me! Get 
Vicky Vale reporting. Meshtli, god of war, is often oh, worn by any off. street forces. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I Venom is supposed to make you Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! You're on our turf now! I feel so strong! is a big believer in tough love, or just being tough. Those thugs will recover, but they'll be hurting for a while. Bane's addicted to venom, but he's no fool. I've tracked his main stash to the Cape Carmine Lighthouse. There's an unguarded entry up top, behind the light. Nightwing's inside, but no one should try to take out Bane alone. Bane can be deadly. Believe me, I know. My lighthouse is full of that disgusting venom. Just the smell makes me sick. And clear it out and I'll make it worth your while. Venom.
Now I'll never get to have venom! Ow! Oh, venom's wearing off! Once I prove myself, Bane will give me Venom too! I'm taking you down! is supposed to make me invincible. I'm taking you now! For Bane! Great! Now I'll never get to have Venom! You're on our turf now! Don't hurt me! Once I prove myself, Bane will give me Venom too! Right. Venom is supposed to make me invincible! What gives? Almost there. Bane is just around the corner. Say it all to the Tell you like that. Bane's wearing off.
Vicky Vale exclusive. Ixli is the symbol of stone and sacrifice. I'll never get to have venom! Hey, so Batman sent you in. Good times. Let's show these guys we don't need their stinking venom to beat them down. Vicky Vale reporting, Zochipili is frequently depicted by street artists. Did you really think you could defeat me? Good job, hero. I'll take care of Bane. Thanks for the assist. Sometimes I wonder why I stay in this stinking polluted city. The Falcones, Bane, Two-Face, Mad Hatter, that hush freak, Killer Croc, Catwoman, not to mention the Joker. There's too much competition, but I'm a businessman, and I smell opportunity. So when this little gang war blows the lid off Gotham, Penn's gonna have a nice little umbrella for when it starts raining blood. Someone must have tampered with Bane's venom, no doubt about it.